Hey YouTube, Ron here with a uh, video lawn update. I haven't done one of these for a while, so it's the uh, start of the new uh, lawn season for 2017, like the growing season for the lawn, so I want to give you guys an update of what I've been up to. So, uh, you know, a tale of two real mowers. So last year, 2016, um, I was mainly using this guy, the 16-inch uh, Scott's real mower, and I mean, it was, it's, a, it's a nice mower. I mean, you guys saw the results of it. You look at my videos, you can see how the lawn looked. Um, last week, I decided to spring for this guy, the 20 inch, which is a little bit, a little bit wider. Um, like, yeah, obviously it's four inches wider. Uh, it's, it's heavier. And the way this thing cuts, I, I, I really, really like the way this cuts in comparison to the 16. Um, the 16 is easier to maneuver. Obviously it's a lighter unit. Um, and it's easier for cutting. Like if you walk over here, cutting areas like this, where you have, um, I don't know if it's coming through the video, but you have like, um, like the way the lawn, the water drains, the water for the, for the back yard, which is over here, drains down this, um, it's I don't know, like a little like valley or whatever. So it's easier to get in there with a 16 inch, like to, to cut in and out going down here. Um, but as far as like big cutting, this guy does a much, much superior job. Um, I'll show you guys the lawn here in a second. So the, so the, um, the thing with both of them is they both come set up, when you get them from, from out of the box, they both come set up for cutting at about, uh, two inches to three inches in height. So you have to uh, pull uh, this up, pull this, 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 uh, this plate off and adjust it. You know, there's, like, there's like a physical adjustment you have to do. It takes like 10 minutes to do it, but you can drop it down to where it now cuts between one inch and two inch. So uh, adjusting the height on this guy, if you look here, it's super easy. You've got uh, settings for high, medium, and low. I've got mine set to the lowest setting. So when it's set super low and you also make the physical adjustment in here, it cuts at about one inch, which is about um, as low as I can get uh, for, the, for the lawn um, and you know, still be able to use the mower. So you guys can see the results of it. I cut it uh, two days ago and it is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, in comparison to the 16 inch, the big thing is that that one, um, the 20 inch does not bounce at all. So, so sometimes when I'm moving across here, every now and then you get like a little bit of bounce with the 16 inch and you'd get like, it's not really chunking, but you get little high spots. Um, with the 20 inch, it's completely gone. Because again, the unit's a little bit heavier and it, it just sits down. Like, I mean, cutting this entire lawn, only in this area in here, where it's, it's hard to see, but this grass right in here, whenever it rains, water settles in here. So this, this grass tends to be just a little bit thicker than the rest of the lawn. So this is the only area where I had to make like multiple passes with the 20 inch, but you look at it, I mean, it's, it's really, really smooth. Uh, you know, it's, it's a, it's a real, I mean, it's definitely a superior cut. Like if you look at the reviews online of other people that have, um, reviewed the 20 inch it's, and it, it comes out like on top against like the Fisker and the 16 inch and a few other, uh, manual real mowers. It's a really, really good mower. I mean, I'm not sure if this is really coming through in the video, but it's, uh, you know, the quality of the cut. Again, only having done one, and this is the beginning of the season, so I apologize for the grass not being super green. It's, um, it's only now starting to warm up here in Georgia and stay warm to where the grass will actually start turning. But I'll take you guys around here to the front, front lawn. So again, this is uh, the area where in here, it's like it has trouble staying green because this is where all the water flows whenever it rains really heavy. But you can see along the side. And in the front lawn, uh, lighting's not the best right now, but the front one, you can see how smooth that is, man. I mean, it's really, 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 really nice um, in compared to the 16 inch. Now, the, the one thing I'd say with the 16 inch, right, I was able to make cuts when I was cutting the lawn, I'd be able to make passes back and forth this way, like along the lengthwise of the lawn. With a 20 inch, it doesn't work that well because, because the track is so much wider. Um, as you're traveling along here, you, you get a little bit of the curve of the lawn. So it will, it's just really, really hard to move it. So you, you, can't, I can't, you can't cut the lawn anymore this way. I'm using that mower. I had to literally make all my passes down, you know, just keep going up, down, up, down, up, down. And you can see, again, let me get over here. You guys can kind of see how, the, how it came out. I mean, the quality of that is just, I mean, in comparison to the, to the 16 inch, I mean, if you, get, you guys can look at it, um, look at my videos from last year, and you can see, I mean, that is, that's, that's really, really smooth, nice, um, nice and even, you know, again, I apologize for the lawn not being completely green yet, because again, we've just, the grass just now started, started uh, turning, but overall, man, that's, that's, you know, doesn't get much, doesn't get much better than that. I mean, a powered one might do like a better job. I mean, I probably, I might cut it again today because it's starting, starting to grow here a little bit. So it's been two days, so I'll, I'll probably make another pass this afternoon once, uh, the dew dries out, dew, um, so the sun comes up and some of the dew's off the grass. But, um, but yeah, this is the new hotness, man. If, you're gonna, if you guys are in the market for a real mower and you really want uh, 
you know, that, that nice cut. I mean, it is more work. This guy does take a little more effort to push. I'm not going to lie. This is, this is, this one is, um, you know, a bit harder to push. It's a heavier mower, but that extra weight really makes a difference in the way the grass cuts, the, the, the mower cuts. I mean, you look at how smooth the grass is that literally, I mean, when you set the heights, they're identical, right? So it's, it's, so when it's, it doesn't really make a difference um, from a standpoint of the way the machine actually cuts, but the fact that it's actually heavier and it doesn't bounce. Like literally when you're pushing this thing across, it's like a, it's like a train. It's like, the, it just, it just, 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 um, you know, just tracks across the lawn really, really nicely. doesn't bounce up and down. So that's where you get that really, really smooth cut. So if you can only have one, I would go with a 20 inch. Um, cause obviously there's less passes cause it's wider. Um, it's, it does a better job cutting. It's a superior cut to the 16 inch and you have, um, easy adjustments. Like with the 16 inch, there's no easy way to quickly adjust it. You have to undo these, um, these, I don't know what you call these, but these, like, uh, these bolts, you don't do this and then literally push the bolt out and then move, physically move this up and down, push the bolt back through and tighten it on both ends. So which is, which is really, you know, not bad, but not great. I mean, this guy to make an adjustment, literally it's this, you know, from there to there and you're and you're done so you make the physical adjustment to get the, the course height you want so if you want to cut between again two inches and one inch you set this to the lowest you can see there's one two three holes i'm in the lowest one which gets you the lowest like the lowest physical like the lowest course cut and then once you're there you can adjust um you know uh, uh among this this uh this profile here to decide how high or how low so you have certain parts of your grass where maybe it's thicker and um, you know, you're not quite ready for full low, you can move it up to medium and make a pass there, get that cut down. And as you know, as you keep cutting it, it's gonna, you can easily um, slowly work it all the way down to, to full low, to the full, to the full uh, you know, meat and potatoes. So hopefully you guys found this useful. I'm gonna keep doing more video updates. Uh, you know, it's the first uh, video of the new season of uh, Project Golf Course Lawn. And I think it's, it's looking really nice. I mean, this year, like the lawn shouldn't go through too much trouble because I'm not, it is not getting top dressed. It's not gonna go through too much trauma. Um, at some point it'll probably get aerated, but I mean, for being, you know, early April, and again, it only now starting to warm up here in Georgia, it's looking pretty good. I mean, you know, confidence is high that this is gonna, this is gonna come out nice. So I've been going on a little bit long. If you guys have any questions, uh, comments, concerns, love it, hate it, let me know if things are gonna be doing differently, let me know. So, uh, you know, someone um, reached out on the channel and said I hadn't done a lawn update for a while, mainly because the grass hasn't been growing, but now that it is, and you know, it's something I enjoy doing and enjoy sharing with you guys, I'll uh, continue to post updates. So again, uh, like, subscribe, and I, I hope you guys found this. If you have any questions, uh, let me know. Thanks again.